here's my layout and uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now but I thought I'd do a quick video of the construction progress. Uh, there's the old portion with the yard and uh, you could see over there on the right before I was testing out some uh, backdrop panels. So there's the yard. Uh, in front of it is my workbench. There's going to be a backdrop that separates those two. There's my uh, computer and my two mice and keyboards for the two computers. There's some stuff on the workbench. Now over here is what's going to be the first part of the layout. And uh, that has most of its final foam decking on. And uh, as we move around you can see the duck under. And uh, I did quite a bit of work to make that a little bit more friendly for my back. And uh, there's three of the uh, one by two support members have foam carpet padding zip tied to them. And uh, there's another piece in the back as well to protect the uh, bottom of the backdrop support there. Coming around, uh, you can see this got the backdrop framing there. That's just poster board. I'm probably going to put um, foam board over that later. There is a newly glued section of decking. And the reason I want to do the video right now is that in a couple hours this will all be covered over with decking. Um, the crowbar there doesn't belong, but other than that you can see uh, basically how these sections are built. Um, they're boxes using uh, 3 by 3 inch L girders which are made out of a 1 by 3 and a 1 by 2 and those form a box shape and then the box shape is connected with some bolts to legs um, which I have an example of over there that go down. Uh, some sections have legs and some don't. They just float between the other sections and the sections that do have legs uh, many of them have a bracket for a shelf which I'm going to cut plywood to fit um, to form a shelf to keep stuff up off the um, floor and nice and dry as well. And over there is a little connector piece that connects up to the two modules. Uh, that's the back corner of my existing module. And uh, that's just some little scraps of plywood there that uh, I made into the decking over there and then I filled in the back with an extra piece of the uh, fascia board to make sure nothing falls through. Uh, speaking of fascia board, uh, I've done fascia all the way around. I was originally intending to use a curvable material but I ended up doing a square, uh, or I should say angular pattern which actually helped a lot with the decking. And it still gives a nice continuous look. Um, it'll look a lot nicer once it's painted. Um, there's a little gap right there. I'll have to work on that. But um, in general, the fascia will just hide all the junk underneath the layout. And uh, it also holds the foam in, as you can see by these, this uh, shorter part of it, over where the duck under is. So we go around, and um, there's some more of the fascia. The fascia board's also on the older part of the layout. Um, but it's partly for aesthetics and partly for some controls. Over on my workbench there's going to be a programming track. Uh, there will also be a throttle port um, so I can use the programming track either with the throttle or on the computer. Um, and any other switches uh, that need to be placed uh, will be placed in that fascia. We also have some of the backdrop frames up. Um, right here is going to be a little bit of a challenge. The uh, backdrop is going to have to come way forward um, and this is not the final shape of it yet but those are just the frames that I put up so I could start on the decking and um, other frames will connect into those that will come out and around that awful pipe which I wish I could remove but the uh, house would not have septic service if I did that. So there's another shot. Type bond 2 
is absolutely amazing. It sticks pretty much anything to anything else. It's easy to work with. It doesn't give off any gases or anything. Uh, there's a couple of weird joints that I couldn't screw um, that are just hold, held together with the tight bond. And uh, the next video should be showing um, the initial loop of track down. Uh, I'm going to first put uh, just a loop of track, it'll go, it'll split off right there and then loop around the back of the modules to create a um, loop on each end. There's already a loop on the old end and uh, that'll allow loop to loop operation. Um, also with the switch decoders should have the automatic reversing function. I don't know how quickly that'll get installed. Um, but they'll be able to run loop to loop. I'm um, putting the preliminary loop in, I'll do a whole bunch more work on the layout from the fascia to the backdrop, painting stuff, and then I'll figure out what I'm actually doing for the final track plan and start laying that down at some point in the future. So uh, take a look at the next video and you should see some trains running.